freedom of speech. That is the subject of tonight's Waters Words. The other day, CNN anchor Christiane Amanpour actually asked James Comey if the FBI could arrest Trump supporters for chanting, lock her up at political rallies. Of course, lock her up was a feature of the 2016 um, Trump campaign. Do you, in retrospect, wish that people like yourself, the head of the FBI, I mean, the people in charge of law and order, had shut down that language, that it was dangerous, potentially, that it could have created violence, that it's kind of hate speech? Should that have been allowed? That's not a role for government to play. Mm -hmm. The beauty of this country is people can say what they want, even if it's misleading and, and it's demagoguery. Amazing stupidity by her. But it's scary. Let's get yourself inside the mind of a liberal, their essence. Their agenda is about gaining power over other people and then controlling other people's behavior in order to make themselves feel better and give their own lives more meaning. They do this through government and through the media and through universities. Liberals want to control everything. The food we eat, the cars we drive, the energy we use, the cakes we bake, the health care we buy, the doctors we use, the guns we own, even the bags we use at the grocery store. The only thing liberals don't want to control is our border. <laughs> but they're finding out that speech is the thing that's hardest to control. Yet, it's the freedom they want to control the most. They push to control speech on college campuses. They want to control Fox News, control speech on social media, on clothing, like the MAGA hats, and even now at political rallies. And this is done through political correctness, shaming, boycotts, mobs, lawsuits, algorithms and regulations. Very small yet loud and partisan voices on the left will act as enforcers by claiming that millions of people are offended or certain phrases are dangerous or toxic or even hate speech. And then there's this massive backlash, even though there's not. And since liberals believe they're on the side of progress, other ideas aren't even listened to. They become obstacles obstacles to overcome, and the ends justify the means. Sometimes our Constitution is an obstacle for liberals. But conservatives have to remember always that freedom of speech is a God-given right. It's enshrined in the Constitution, the First Amendment. And liberals can only take away freedom of speech if we allow them to, and we won't.